Seoul's delegation traveled to Pyongyang on Thursday. At the welcoming dinner that evening, both the South and North Korean representative stressed they're opening a new era of peace and prosperity and should walk on hand in hand. Our Sob Bin with more. A new era of peace and prosperity. That's what the South and North Koreans toasted to on Thursday at their welcoming banquet in Pyongyang. Lee sung won the head of North Korea's reunification committee, stressed a new era has come for the Korean people and they should march together on a road to peace. Thanks to our leaders' patriotism and passion and the people's ironclad will for reunification, a new era of peace and prosperity is now opening. Just as we like the same food, we have the same ideals and the same path ahead of us. South Korea's unification minister, Cho myung highlighted how visiting Pyongyang feels so normal now. He added, the core point of the latest inter-Korean summit agreement is taking real actions, and that has already begun. With this joint celebration of the October 4th anniversary, we are implementing the Pyongyang Joint Declaration. I look forward to even more people in both Koreas making peace and prosperity together. He added, peace and prosperity will definitely settle when the two Koreas are connected by truly demilitarizing the border area and the Korean peninsula becomes denuclearized. The leader of South Korea's ruling Democratic Party, Lee Hye-chan, who visited Pyongyang back in 2007 as a prime minister of the Romuyeon administration, said he feels a major change is underway. He said he's grateful that possibly four inter-Korean summits could take place this year alone. We've been divided for 70 years, and that has harmed us so much. I'm grateful we're ending that era of division and confrontation and shifting to a new era of peace and prosperity. Earlier on Thursday, the South Korean delegation toured a science technology complex in Pyongyang and watched a music performance by North Korean singers and bands. 160 South Koreans went to Pyongyang on Thursday for a three-day trip to celebrate the 11th anniversary of the 2007 summit agreement called the October 4th Declaration. Seo Bo Bin, Arirang News.